Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the phase two clinical trial of TDM 105795 conducted by the Chinese pharmaceutical company Technoderma Medicines. And it aimed to assess the efficacy and safety of a particular topical solution for treating androgenetic alopecia. But I haven't really talked about TDM 105795 on this channel. So what is it? Now, for part of this reading, I want to give credit to PR Newswire for the news that we're going to be looking at today and essentially summarizing, particularly when it comes to TDM 105795's mechanism of action and also what the researchers at Technoderma saw in their mouse studies, the preclinical studies. TDM 105795, characterized as a potent theromimetic, is an innovative drug candidate specifically designed to mimic the biological activities of thyroid hormones. Its primary mode of action revolves around the stimulation and modulation of hair follicle activity with the objective of promoting the transition of hair follicles from resting phase known as the telogen phase to the active growth phase or anagen phase. This transition is crucial for initiating and sustaining hair growth and it addresses the core dysfunction observed in androgenetic alopecia, where hair follicles prematurely enter the resting phase and fail to resume normal growth cycles. The significance of TDM 105795's thyromimetic properties lies in its ability to engage and activate specific cellular pathways that are influenced by thyroid hormones which are known to play a pivotal role in various physiological processes, including metabolism, growth, and development. In the context of hair follicle biology, the mimicry of thyroid hormone actions by TDM 105795 aims to rejuvenate dormant hair follicles, encouraging them to re-enter the antigen phase and thereby stimulate hair production. So you can think of this as being a growth stimulant of some kind, similar to minoxidil, which more than likely, that is if this thing fully works and it goes to phase three and it gets up to the market, right? Which more than likely works different than minoxidil. Now we're getting potentially a new growth stimulant for our hair follicles. The preclinical studies conducted on animal models, such as the C3H mice, have demonstrated the dose dependent efficacy of TDM 105795 in stimulating hair growth, providing a strong foundation for its therapeutic potential. These studies suggest that TDM. 105795 can effectively activate dormant hair follicle stem cells, leading to the induction of the growth phase in hair follicles that have transitioned to the resting phase. So, looking at the recent human phase 2 clinical trials of TDM 105795 that came out recently, about a day ago actually, and I'm recording this on February 6th, 2024, at 11.09 p.m., so pretty late for me after work. But from this new phase two clinical trial release, we have somewhat good news, but of course, we should hold our breaths here for one moment. So it should be noted that there were three groups. Placebo group, which received essentially a topical application with nothing inside of it, but what can essentially be characterized as water, so no treatment in this placebo group, right? And then we have two treatment groups that received different concentrations of TDM 105795, the high strength concentration being 0.02% and the low strength concentration being 0.0025%. One of the most intriguing aspects of this trial was the minimal difference in efficacy between the two concentrations of TDM 105795 tested. The high label strength of 0.02% and the low label strength of 0.0025% topical solution showed mean changes from baseline in non-vellus target area hair count of 24.3 hairs for the high strength of TDM 105795 and 20.3 hairs for the low strength of TDM 105795. Another notable occurrence here was that the placebo group gained 14 hairs. And of course, all of this was done within a one centimeter square test area. So the particular area that they're going to examine for improvements of the hair count 
was done with within this specific measurement. This marginal difference between the high strength concentration and the low strength concentration group was a difference of about four hairs. So if TDM 105795 actually works and it gets past phase three and comes to market, realistically, we can probably see it coming at a lower strength and still being effective. Now, this study was a randomized double-blind trial, which included daily dosing over four months. So it was a bit short because, at least from my perspective, when I see all of these hair loss studies, they at least go to six months just to let the hair growth cycle kind of mature out between placebo and the treatment groups. Because it could be the case, and this is what's particularly worrying about this study, it could be the case that given enough time, the placebo could have caught up to TDM 105795. And if that's the case, there would be no statistical significance between TDM 105795 and placebo. Because 14 hairs, I mean, I don't want to be like a fear monger and make anyone kind of disappointed, but seeing 14 hairs increase in the placebo group kind of makes me worried. And it kind of makes me put in the assumption that if we were to get two more months out of this trial, instead of the four months that was given to us in the phase two, we possibly could see the placebo catch up. But that's the worst case scenario. Maybe the placebo catches up, but it doesn't completely overtake TDM 1057.95. And the margin, at least between the high concentration being 24 hairs and the placebo group, instead of it being a 10 hair difference, it could, who knows? maybe a four or five hair difference, right? So like I said, we need to hold our breaths a bit, not get too overzealous about the news, but it is pretty positive. It also goes to show that this particular thyroid mimetic compound, the TDM 105795, doesn't need a higher concentration to actually elicit hair growth effects. So you just need a little bit of this molecule if anything, if, if it actually does have an impact on the hair growth cycle, a positive impact that is, then we just need a little bit of this compound to grow our hair. Because already 0.02% is a very low concentration of something, but if you can go even lower than that, being 0.0025%, and you still see somewhat similar benefits in the hair growth cycle, then it just goes to show how potent and effective such a molecule could possibly be on the antigen growth phase of the hair cycle. So good news here is that TDM 105795 was well tolerated in the subjects without significant safety concerns detected. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I had to record it pretty quickly just to get the news out because this is relatively new and I've been working, you know, a bit overtime at work. So anything you guys can do to support the channel be it a like, comment, subscribe, or join the membership for as little as $2 a month, that's greatly appreciated. But thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace out.